Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nish Kumar Singh and today we will be continuing ahead with our Jira tutorials as a part of the previous tutorial. We have understood how exactly to work with uh, Jira setup and at the same time understanding how you can create a simple project and start working with the navigations and understanding the project details. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be creating our very first issue in uh, Jira project as a work item type and understanding that what exactly an issue is all about when you create what are the different types of issues and how you can manage several uh, work products within the Jira project as a part of the Agile methodology. So you will be exploring a lot about issues today and definitely understanding more in context to understand that how different work items are being managed here and what are those details which you need to take care of when creating and managing a particular work item like in form of an issue and definitely there's more to explore which we'll be looking forward to in the next tutorials but today definitely let's get started with the issue and understand what exactly an issue is all about and how we can manage it well within a Jira project so let's get started quickly As a part of this tutorial, we will be getting into the issues and understanding them in more detail. We will be understanding in this tutorial that how to create an issue and what are the details associated with an issue when created in a Jira project. First of all, you have to access and get inside your project to start working with an issue. Now generally, an issue can be created from any window of the Jira, be it like the board, backlogs, reports, components, or anything else. Because a create option is available on the topmost option in the menu in the Jira project. So whenever you are logged into Jira with your specific project details, you will find a create button at the top menu. All you have to do is click on this create button to start creating a new issue. By default, you will see your project name on the title as the top option. Also, all other projects which you are associated with will be listed here at the bottom. So you can generally switch between your projects if in case you have forgotten to switch before clicking on the creating a new issue. Additionally, if you want, you can also determine what are the issue type. Of course, this is a mandatory option to so determine that whether your issue type what you are creating is story, task, bug or epic. To know more about what exactly these types are, please go back to my another tutorial which you can find on the card above to see and understand that what are the various work item types which are available in Agile. And similarly, the same can be prepared here. So your issue type can be either a pick, a story, that is user story, task or maybe a bug. What about the test? Of course, we will be using an additional application to enable test management within Jira projects. So stay tuned for that. We will look forward in upcoming tutorials. The next thing is, of course, to determine a summary. What is that you're trying to create and what is it all about? So it could be a short summary to definitely understand that what exactly it will be doing and what is it all about. So let's obviously follow the hierarchy and create an epic here, which will be just like a requirement which we are trying to create here. For example, create an app to get news or read news. So it could be anything which is the epic name. The more summary about that, building an app for news reading and then the next option here is to attach anything which is relevant to that. For example, you may attach your options from any of the sources, which could be related to an Excel file, which might have a data, could be a snapshot of the screenshot of the application, what typically you're looking for, maybe a Word document containing the details about the requirement, and you have different ways to upload your sources from. You can upload from your computer directly, you can use a Dropbox to import your details, or from the Google Drive as well. So yes, you have all the options to attach anything to the particular issue which you are trying to create. Following that, of course, you can definitely define a more description detail about the same epic or any other work item type which you are creating as an issue. And definitely description plays a vital role. When it comes to description, it helps other stakeholders or other team members of your development team to understand what we are exactly supposed to do here. 
Not only that, definitely we can create a lot of tasks, so the task will also play a vital role when being provided with a description to any subordinate or the team member that what is that we are expecting them to do. When it comes to the reporter, reporter is the person who is creating this particular issue in the project. So obviously the person name will be displayed here and will be captured automatically as the person who is trying to create is logged in. Also, you can include any kind of other linked issues which you might have already created at any point of time while creating a new issue. So you may have, for example, it blocks something or it is blocked by something else. It clones another issue or it is cloned by some issue. So at any point of time, whatever is the most relevant option to create traceability between the issues which you create, you can always relate them using the linked issues. Also, you can further add if they have any kind of issues already listed here to include it as an issue if in case you have one. For example, linked to issue, which one? So you can drop down and select that issue. From time to time, we will be revisiting these options to see how exactly an issue can be linked. So don't worry, we got you covered there and we will be discussing them in the upcoming tutorials. Assignee is a person whom you actually want to assign this in order to put it to somebody else. For example, maybe I'm a test manager or maybe I'm a scrum master and would like to you know, associate this particular activity to somebody else. Not only that, even a development team, the one person may be responsible for creating various issue types and can associate it to somebody else. If in case you are creating a task for yourself, you can click on assign to me and it will be dedicated to you. Also, you can define a priority to the same. That means what kind of priority this task or this epic holds, maybe highest, high, low or lowest. So let's create a highest there. And labels, if in case you have created any labels, you can use that as well. Where labels are basically to determine that what kind of work product does it fall under. An epic cannot have another epic linked to it. So of course, generally for any other work item types, you will also have epic link, which you will be using in order to link to certain epic. Don't forget, epic is a superset which contains lots of user stories and each user story can have multiple tasks under them. So at any point of time when you're creating a user story, task or work item like bug or test, you can definitely associate all of them to an epic under which it falls and also include your sprint cycle in which you are going to cover this or what are the sprints which are associated to develop this particular sprint. And all you have to do is click on a create button here to finally create it. At any point of time, if you want to continue your journey to create a lot of uh, issues at, for a particular project, you can make use of this checkbox which will allow you to create this particular issue and refresh this window to continue working on the issue creations. So this way, you don't have to actually go back to your project, click on create and come back to this window. You can save some steps here to be more optimized and more efficient. Not only that, you do have options to import issues. If you click on this, it will allow you to actually go to other projects and log into that. And you can also import your issues from external projects, which is obviously maintained by the Jira. So you are free to import issues from a different project within Jira. Also, if you want, you can configure your fields. And what are those fields which you want to see and definitely want to manage them whenever you create an issue. So right now, if you see all the options are enabled, and you see them while you are creating them. Don't forget the first tutorial we did discuss about that this tool is customizable so you can always customize what is that you want to do whenever you want to add or remove. So if you go for custom, these are the only fields which will be visible. So let's go for all again as we have filled in a lot of information there. So at any point of time, you can customize further and we will see that in Jira administrator tutorials that how we can customize it further. Once you're all done and set with all the necessary informations, you can click on create. But don't forget at any point of time, even after creating an issue, if you think you want to add some more information which you may, ha may have not added initially while creating it, then you can obviously add them even after creating an issue. So let's click on create here. So now we see a confirmation message, your issue TIN1 has been created, but it is not currently visible because it does not fall under any of them. So let's get back to the details of this, or let's go to the issues and see that if I can see them. 
So this is the section where we generally talk about issue management and here you can manage all your issues. It's just that it is because it is an epic and until unless I relate this epic to a particular sprint or a backlog, I won't be able to see that, which we will see in the next tutorial. So now with an epic or any issue type, you do see a lot many other options which were there already and you can still add them here. For example, you can add an attachment, create issues in the epic, link issues, and definitely add apps. Plus, you will also see in status for this particular user uh, issue which you have created. That is to do, in progress, or done. So right now it is in to do list. That means there are yet to do. Assignee, I think I assigned to myself, but probably I didn't save it. And then you have labels, you have priority, create an issue type, and a lot many other fields which you actually had. But yeah, there are a lot more. For example, story points for this epic, original estimates, time tracking, components, sprint, fixed versions, all these things can be included. So let's give some story points here to this. Uh, let's assume that we are giving 10 points to this. And uh, original estimate is a number of minutes. So probably, probably just say 10 into 40, 40 into 6, 240 minutes. And uh, yeah, so now we have got everything here. Okay, so it was supposed to be minutes, right? So two, four, zero, zero. Okay, so now we are just done with creating a particular issue here. Similarly, you can go on creating with number of issues which you want to create. And definitely we have a lot of search options which will help you to do the same thing. But in this tutorial, we're just restricting ourselves to talk about issues. So yes, an issue can be created at any point of time during the project. And generally for any kind of activity which you perform as a part of Jira project, you make use of issues. So generally in Agile, these are referred to as a work item, where a work item can be anything. It could be your epic, user story, test cases, or even an automation test, or even the defects which you find. And definitely you manage them using the issue management at any point of time to see the progress on that. And you can relate it further to a lot of other things within the Jira project. Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries and answer them well. As a part of this tutorial, we have explored on what, how to create an issue and what are the various details which we need to know in order to fulfill the needs of us too. So, till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.